Hi, thank you for choosing Liquid Art and watching today's video on how to install your self-contained pondless water fountain. My name is Jamie and I'm here to guide you through the installation steps. If you haven't done so already, you may want to watch part one in this video series that talks about receiving your pondless fountain and all of the components included with your purchase. For this installation, we've decided on a location that's close enough to our house that we're able to see the fountain from both our patio as well as from inside the house. We're also going to be able to enjoy the sound of the water feature from having windows open, as well as when we enjoy time outside. I think it'll be a great spot. Remember, when considering your own location, select an area large enough to accommodate the base and any possible water overspray. The first step for installing your fountain is to dig a hole at least 12 inches deep and that is large enough for the reservoir to fit inside. I use the base as a template to mark the ground where I want it to dig. You can use spray paint as I did, or simply use a shovel to carve a line. If you have soft soil, you may need to dig the hole an extra three inches deep and backfill with crushed rock or gravel. This will provide a solid foundation for the fountain base. Once you've placed your fountain base in position, check to make sure that it's completely level. Check it both from side to side and from front to back. If the base is not level, remove it and use crushed rock, dirt, or gravel to level the ground. Next, use the previously removed soil to backfill around the fountain base. Be sure to pack the dirt in as tightly as possible because settling will occur. So I filled in around the edges of the fountain with dirt. I've installed the grates and I've positioned our rocks where I think they'll look the best. And to make it easier when installing the water hoses, I've marked the nearest opening in the grate that's closest to the PVC pipe inside the rock with a Sharpie, or you can use tape. Next, we'll remove the rocks and start installing the water pump and hoses. Now keep in mind that rocks placed near the outer edges of the reservoir will have a higher likelihood of losing water to overspray. So, I've removed the rocks, I've installed the pump in the access panel area, and I've placed the hoses in the reservoir and pulled one end up through the marked areas in the grating. The other end of the hoses will need to be attached to the valve assembly. Also make sure to remove the power cord from the reservoir. Run the cord through the opening at the point where the access panel and grate come together, not through the fixed holes. I've laid out the poly mesh screen for final placement and I've cut two of the three holes needed for the water hoses. This is the last hole to cut. Next, you'll want to trim the screen along the outside edge of the reservoir. This will prevent any unnecessary water loss. When connecting the hoses to the rocks, place one rock horizontally on top of the grate so that you have easy access to the pipe and union inside. Attach the flexible hose to the pipe inside the rock. Make sure to keep the flexible hose centered where it exits the grate. After connecting your final rock, completely fill the reservoir to the top of the grating with water and then turn the pump on by simply plugging the cord into a power source. You can also adjust the position of each pipe nozzle to obtain the desired water flow appearance. The pipe nozzle is found on the top of the rock and can be easily adjusted or completely removed depending upon the desired water flow or water head height. To make the adjustment, use a pair of pliers. Removing the nozzle will increase the volume of water flowing from the rock, where leaving the nozzle in place reduces the water flow and increases the head height. Your fountain is now ready for the final touches of landscape design. Start by covering your poly mesh screen with river rock or other decorative rock products. There are many styles and colors available, and these can be found at any rock yard as well as most major home improvement stores. 
Avoid placing soil or bark on top of the polymesh screen. It may fall through into the water inside the reservoir. If you'd like to put flowers or decorative plants on top of your fountain base, we suggest using the Liquid Art Rock Accent Planter. It's a great way to add a touch of color close to your fountain. We've accomplished a lot today, and in less than a day, we've dramatically improved the look of this backyard. I hope this video has shown you how easy and simple it is to install a Liquid Art Pondless Fountain and inspired you to enhance your own outdoor living experience. We love seeing our customers' results and encourage you to send us photos of your design creativity. We look forward to hearing from you, and if you have any questions or would like to place an order, please contact Liquid Art at liquidartfountains.com. Thank you.